Keaton, uh, pretty good numbers, bud. 15 for 27, 217 yards, three TDs. Did you, what day did you start taking regular reps practicing? Uh, I came in on Wednesday. That's so that was the first day from when you got dinged? Yeah, yes, sir, it was. Oh, that's a long time to sit up. Did, did, it, did it pick right back up? Do you feel like the timing was something that was right there again? Yeah, no, we got in. The wide receivers did a good job after practice of getting that timing back together because obviously Riggs was in, and so it's a little different in the way he throws the ball the way that I do. Uh, so, so we got that taken care of on Wednesday and, and just kind of left off where, we, where I went before I got out. That's got to be a tedious, frustrating situation when they're going through all that protocol, but you know it's for the best. I mean, you probably felt fine two or three days later. Yeah. But you still got to pass all these little details. Was that frustrating, or did you just feel like, hey, there's nothing I can do about it? Or? No, we have a great athletic training um, staff, and they do what they can in that situation. Sure. You know, with concussions, it's, it's, it's a scary situation, um, especially with the way I went out against North Dakota. And so uh, they did a great job. They handled it well. They kept me uh, level-headed throughout the whole process and did the best we can. Had you had any concussion problems before this year? No, sir. Yeah, no. High school, nothing? No, sir. Wow. Uh, let's talk about, you, you know, you, you connected a couple times. Uh, well, one of them, Dante, I think he recovered his own funnel, right, in the yeah. end zone? You know, and then he uh, gets another one from you. He was, was, was he a hot read or was he a second read? Or? Uh, no, so on those plays, uh, I, I think the first one uh, was Haas. We had middle field open. And so when we have a route like that and it's an option route, if the middle field's open, he takes it. If it's one high, he's going to go out with the fade. Um, and so with that, he just read it perfectly. Uh, and, and just got the ball to him. He, uh, Dante's a, a freak athlete. We've known that since he got here his freshman year last year. And so it, it's cool to see him have a game like this. Uh, what's it feel like to get take that zero and shove oh, it to the side now? And I think we could all agree it's an amazing feeling. I mean, we Fine. talked we talked after the Sac State game, and I told you that you know no one could really stop us but us. And, and I still hold true to that statement that you know when we're firing or firing on all cylinders, there's there's really no one that can stop us. And I think it, we proved that today. My low 119 yards rushing, and I know physically you had to earn every one. Of them. You were there were some plays where I was wondering how slow or if you were <laughs> going to get up. Because man, you got bent over. And oh man, up on that sideline, pretty pretty hard hits. You know? Yeah, definitely. You know, running back's a physical uh, position where you have to be ready for the, those type of games. You know, uh, coming from a offense as in Wyoming, you know, with pro styles, we're running power all the time. So I gotten used to it over the years and. It helped me out, and I'm excited that we got the win, and I'm excited to have these guys as my teammates. So, You know, and I'm going to bring up the obvious without having as many breathers as you normally would, would if Trey was playing. It's a little tougher, but 23 carries, I mean, that's a lot, but I'm sure you'll take 23 every week if they want to give it to you that many times. I mean, it's whatever that helps, helps the team win. You know, I'm a big team guy, you know, always been a – Team guy, I, I don't care if I have 100 yards, 50 yards, one touchdown, two touchdowns. As long as we're winning, I'm happy. So, sure, and I didn't. I only saw you turn and grab it, and I saw you take off. Were you playing kind of a center field type? Man, look at those gloves. Were you? Were you playing a <laughs> center field type uh, position at that time? So we're in a cover two coverage. We had um, some cloud to the boundary. So um, I was kind of out of the quarterback's vision. And uh, so he tried to, you know, put the vert uh, towards the middle of the field. Um, but he didn't see me coming from the back side. So it was kind of a cloud coverage. When you got it and turned, you really – I don't know if there was anybody even had an angle on you, was there? I don't think so, man. I, I think my guys did a great job blocking down the field. Everybody did a job kicking everybody out, you know, and I just tried to follow off of that. And, you know, that puts you up 42 to 14. At that point, it's like – Bring all you got. You're not going to catch us at this point. It feel good to have that cushion finally. I would say so, but I think guys, even with the 42-14 score, I think guys still had that mentality on. It's not over till that clock says zero. You know, everybody kept saying when, after halftime. You know, we still have to put our foot on our throats and finish the game. And even regardless of the constant scoring and things like that and things going our way, guys never forgot that mentality until you know the clock struck zero. What's it feel like to push that big zero? out of that win call and put a one in there. I mean, I know none of you wanted to be the team that kind of reverted back to, you know, the 0-11, the 1-1, 11, the 1 and whatever they were several years ago. You'd come so far and then for some reason unknown, it stepped back. It feels good to get that one in there and 
maybe try to build off of it with three weeks left? I would definitely yeah. say so. You know, regardless, man, a win is a win. You know, and we're going to take it and we're going to build off of it. That's honestly what we've been waiting for. We just needed one, you know. We needed one to get us going and guys to get excited about finishing the season off. So it, it's a great feeling. Talk for a second about how this team perseveres and even though, you know, there was a big zero sitting there for all these weeks, it practices, if somebody came here and didn't know any of that, would never be able to tell. The guys were still working really hard yep. and proactive and positive attitudes. I mean, our, our leadership, you know, guys, you know, um, just our depth in general, you know, guys keep pushing every week. You know, guys have passion for this game, you know. When you have passion for this game, you accept a lot of it. You accept the, you know, when you're 7-0 and or when you're 0-7, you know, you still have to continue to fight through that. You want to be the same team, you know. So I think our guys did a great job persevering and, and finally got the results we wanted. Hey, guys, I appreciate your time. Nice job. Enjoy it. Thank, Thank you, you so much.